I haven't started by just introducing myself in a while, so let's do that now. What's up guys, my name is Frankie. This is The Money Resolution where we talk all things save money, make money, get out of debt, and invest. Obviously with this video, we're talking about how to make money on YouTube, and I get it. It is hard if you are a small channel, but I did tons and tons of research and I'm really excited today to share with you the 10 best ways that you can make money no matter where you are in your YouTube journey. And there are a lot of videos out there, I'll admit, on YouTube about how to make money on YouTube, but I hopefully have a different perspective being a small YouTuber myself. It's one thing to hear ideas from somebody that's already made it, but it's another thing to hear someone who's going through the struggle and trying new and interesting things right now. And do I make money from YouTube? I've actually been asked that a couple of different times by friends and family, and the truth is, not really, but that hasn't been a goal of the channel. However, it is totally okay if that is the goal for you, because these days it's really easy to turn YouTube the hobby into YouTube the income generator. Any single one of these ideas may not make you a ton of money, but as you gradually grow and combine one idea with the next, this could turn into a decent amount of income. And because of that growth, I am going to go through these in order of sort of the easiest ones to get started with today and end with some more long-term things that you can build up to. And I'll be very transparent throughout what are the different things that I have tried. And also, I'm gonna be sure to provide lots of specific resources. So I'm not just gonna tell you the what, I'm gonna actually walk you through some of the how. So my goal is to help you make your first $50, $100, and then potentially the sky is the limit from there. If you like content like this and my approach to these videos, be sure to subscribe to The Money Resolution. I put out personal finance videos once a week, usually on Thursday or Friday. Also, like this video at any point if there's something on here that's super useful for you. So let's begin. First up, buy me a coffee. This is a really cool website I actually just came across the other day and the whole idea here is you can create a page and have people just literally donate to you in the channel. It's sort of like a tip or a thank you. I created my page in under, I would say five minutes and the one thing I definitely did was change coffee to buy me a pizza because I make my own coffee to save money daily and you should too. But with buy me a coffee, again, users can give you just $5 here and there, just as a little token of their appreciation and a thank you. And also in looking at a couple of others examples, it looks like there might be a subscription option as well as an opportunity for you to put some content on there that's gated behind a paywall. So buy me a coffee is actually a lot more than I thought it was just on the surface. Now you don't wanna just ask at the beginning and throughout all your videos, you wanna establish a relationship, provide value, and then when it feels naturally, ask your viewer to, hey, kick me five bucks or buy me a coffee, buy me a pizza if you appreciated this video. On screen, this is my link to buy me a coffee. It's also in the description down below. I don't recommend doing it this early in the video. Just wanted to show you as an example. And I think using certain tools out there like TubeBuddy, you can actually make blanket wide updates to all of your descriptions. VidIQ is another great resource to update all of this massively so that you have that buy me a coffee link in all your descriptions massively all at once. Another website I came across that people recommended is Tippy. I didn't research this one myself, but as you can see on screen, it looks legit. Next up, number two, affiliate marketing. So first of all, what is affiliate marketing? The whole idea with affiliate marketing is that you can review or recommend products, provide a link to that product, and if customers end up buying that product, you get a sort of kickback or commission for that sale. The best way to actually do this that I recommend is through Amazon Associates. So just about everything is for sale on Amazon, as you know, so just about anything you wanna talk about or review is gonna be easy to link to directly through Amazon. And the way that this works is it's essentially a tracking link. And with Amazon Associates, it's really easy to just find the product you wanna talk about or recommend, grab a little short link, plug it in your description. And if you're wondering how much you can get paid for clicks that go to Amazon, the way that it works that I've seen is that you can get anywhere from 2% on the low end up to 10% on the high end of that entire order. So that's the key there. And the way that that percentage works is it's dependent on the category. But there's lots of other things that you can plug, like you get two free months with Amazon Audible if you use my link in the description down below. Now, can anyone just get approved for Amazon Associates? It's not that difficult, but you will wanna have some sort of following either on YouTube or perhaps you have your own blog or social channels, for example. They are gonna review your account, but I found it pretty easy to get approved myself. However, this is the second time I've had to sign up for Amazon Associates because roughly every 90 days or so, they do review accounts, especially new ones, and they will shut it down if you're not driving enough traffic or enough sales. But no problem, you can just reapply in the future when you've established yourself or an audience. The other cool thing with Amazon Associates is, like I already said, you don't just get commission on the one product you're recommending, but the entire order, and not just on that particular session. 
they actually will track you for 24 hours. So any purchase made within 24 hours, you're still gonna get a kickback for. The way you weave this into your videos is try to do this naturally. So it's really easy if you have a review channel. I did a review of the game Monopoly for Millennials way, way back when, and I'll link to that video above my head and in the description if you just wanna see how that went. I did that as sort of like a palate cleanser after talking about student loans. I was not planning to include affiliate links or anything like that, but I went back retroactively and I added that affiliate link just in case anyone decides to buy it. And you should buy it, it's a great game. I'll link it down below. This isn't gonna feel very natural, but basically I'm gonna link down in the description below all the tools that I use and recommend for creating YouTube videos. We're talking my camera, my microphone, my Logitech MX Master 3, my keyboard, whatever these things are. All the things I use to create my YouTube videos are in the description down below, and those are, of course, affiliate links. That wasn't very smooth, but you get the idea. Next up, number three, is to get a video sponsor. And I know what you're thinking. Is Squarespace or Skillshare really gonna sponsor me if I have a small channel? The reality is, possibly not. But you need to think a little bit more creatively and outside of the box. So perhaps there are some local businesses in your community that you could approach and offer to promote their business, their service, etc for a small fee. The way a lot of people structure this is, from what I've seen in research, anywhere from $20 to $50 per 1,000 views. So maybe in cutting a deal with a local business, you can base it on how many views. The video isn't successful, they don't pay. If it's very successful, you can earn more. And then once again, you wanna weave that in naturally into your video. For example, this video is brought to you by light bulbs. Light bulbs for your brain. Get your free idea and expand your brain in the next 10 minutes today. Light bulbs for your brain, check it out. That obviously doesn't exist, but I hope your brain is getting bigger. I have yet to do this on the channel. One thing though I do recommend is that any sponsor that you work with is a product you actually use and like. Don't recommend something that you haven't vetted yourself. That is one way to immediately lose trust in all your viewers going forward. And here's the best part about the sponsorship. You don't have to give any of this money to YouTube and you know, with Amazon Associates, you're giving money to Amazon. So with this one, you get to keep it completely. Just don't forget to pay your taxes. Now, if you're wondering where else can I find sponsors if not my local community, here are a few websites that I found in research to get you started. The first one is grapevinelogic.com. Next is socialbluebook.com. And finally, famebit.com. But with this one, it looks like you need to be a little more established. I think over 5,000 subscribers. Next up is merchandise. So this may sound like a lot of work to get started with merchandise, keeping inventory, shipping these things left and right. But there's actually a ton of companies that are print on demand services that you can go use for free to get started with merchandise. And you can do this in as little as an hour and have a store set up. And I mean, there are a lot of places. I watched a video last week where this guy compared and contrasted something like 30 different online merchandise stores that were all print on demand. But I'm gonna give you a recommendation today. The one that I have used and like myself is called teespring.com. It was just like two months ago, I was bored on a Saturday afternoon. And like I said, within an hour, I had created a design uploaded it to teespring.com, picked out all the merchandise and all the colors I wanted to sell, set my prices, and there you go, I had a storefront. Here's how that turned out. This is like the premium sweatshirt, and you can see that says money, resolution, and like a baseball font. Again, it's pretty silly. But the cool thing with teespring.com is that you can order samples at cost. So I think I ordered this for something like $25. It sells for something like $40 or $45. Of course, you can call it out as in the description down below to shop all your products, or what I recommend is that you actually just sort of wear it on camera and see if anyone asks you about it in the comments to start and eventually start to subtly plug it, especially as you get more views and more subscribers. And the other thing I really like about teespring.com is it's not just t-shirts and sweatshirts. They also have things like coffee mugs, uh, cell phone cases, pop sockets, and stickers and stickers are cool. And if you don't have a lot of skills when it comes to graphic design, I would recommend you go to something like fiverr.com or upwork.com and hire someone to design something for you. But I actually have one more tip about merchandise and I'm gonna talk about it at the end of the next tip. Number five, the biggie. Google AdSense. This is how most YouTubers actually earn money from YouTube. This is through ads. And the way that you get ads approved to be shown on your channel and start earning income from your videos is by applying to be a YouTube partner and getting approved. There is a major barrier to entry when it comes to applying. You do need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, not minutes, hours 
in the last 365 days, even just to be eligible to apply. I have been doing this for over a year and a half. I think I have close to 70 videos and I am not even halfway there when it comes to subscribers. So if you wanna help me get a little bit closer, I would love it if you subscribe to the money resolution. But as you can see, watch hours, I'm a lot closer on. I do think that that's the easier of the two. So if I were starting a channel brand new, I'd be really focusing on subscribers in the beginning. Now there are two types, two main types of ads that you'll see on YouTube. There's the pre-roll. This is the ad you're gonna see before the video. And then there's what you call bumpers. These are ads that you'll see sometimes throughout the video. And I'll quickly break down sort of how ads work on YouTube. Somebody has a product or service that they wanna get out there and more eyeballs on. So they'll create a short video promoting it. Then they'll pay for that ad to run in front of videos that have an audience that's the type of audience they're trying to reach. So the creator is gonna get 55% of that ad that the advertiser's paying, and YouTube's gonna get the other 45%. I mentioned a quick bonus when it comes to merchandise connected to this tip, and that is once you get approved, you actually also get the ability to connect your merchandise store so that it's sort of permanently shown down below next to your description. There's other things that you get access to once you get approved. One of those things is called Super Chat. So just like with Buy Me A Coffee, if you're somebody that likes to go live on YouTube, your viewers during a live chat can just drop a comment and make it a Super Chat. So they put a little bit of money behind it to get it sort of highlighted to make sure that you see it or just to say thank you to you. And that money just goes directly in your pocket. So a lot of new YouTubers, that's the goal when they get on YouTube is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in a year. And this is why. And if you're wondering how much do YouTubers actually make with Google ads, in my research, I found it's roughly $7.50 per 1,000 views. So that just gives you sort of a general ballpark. And I just hit 50,000 views all time. So if I was monetized from day one, I'll put on screen right now, how much I would have made from that. Again, I've made zero. Next up, number six, is to promote your own digital products. Now it's getting juicy and personal for me because this is one that I've definitely tried and had a tiny bit of success with. And that's because I do have actually a few different digital products that you could buy and I could promote on the channel. I have written two books. The first one's called The Money Resolution. My newest just came out on July 10th. It's called Money, You Can Hack It. Both of these are available as an ebook via Kindle or the Kindle app. So I can link those down in the description below using my affiliate link, sending people over to Amazon to download my ebook if they'd like. And they're pretty affordable. I think it's $3.99 and $5.99. So here's what that looks like on my Kindle. There you go. Check out my newest book, Money You Can Hack It for $5.99 using the link in the description down below. And why would you want this book? I spent a year finding all the best money hacks, documenting them and organizing them in this book just for you. So you can grow your wealth, increase your net worth and have fun along the way. I haven't had to say that in a while. With my first book, I actually also turned it into an audiobook by narrating it myself. So that's another digital product that I can point you to. And again, I can talk about that free Audible two-month membership that's linked in the description down below. I'm not trying to sound so overly self-promoting, but I do just wanna show you examples of how you weave this in. Okay, so if you don't wanna write a book, are there options for you to still create digital products and sell them through your YouTube channel? Absolutely. Other people out there sell things like a YouTube template. So if you're a YouTuber and this is something you do often, you have your own template, you could put that behind a paywall, for example. If you're a teacher, you could sell lesson plans on teacherspayteachers.com. If you're a coach, you could sell your practice plans or stretching tips or techniques, that kind of thing you put together in a PDF. If you're a video maker and you wanna do some how-to tutorials, again, this is something you could put behind a paywall and talk about on the channel. I've seen a lot of people out there having a ton of success by putting together their own cookbooks that have you know shopping guides week by week. Or if you're a fitness instructor or a yoga instructor, you can put together sort of like a week by week uh, workout guide, for example. Other things I wrote down here is Lightroom presets, LUTs that alter the color of the footage, making color grading super easy for you. Or keep it really simple and sell things like stock fit photography, stock video that people can use as B-roll, wallpapers for a cell phone, sound effects, that kind of thing, you get the idea. I even saw a silly example out there, somebody was offering their voiceover service for ASMR videos. So yeah, get creative. Number seven, taking the last one a little bit further is to promote your own physical products on the channel. For example, if you were to create an ebook through Kindle Direct Publishing, it's super easy to turn that ebook actually into a physical printed paperback. So here are my examples from my book, The Money Resolution, the newest, 
money, you can hack it. And it's super, super high, this is awkward, it's super high quality, um, as you can see. And these are print on demand, just like Teespring is, for example. So there's no inventory. I have to keep Amazon prints these and ships these anytime an order comes through. They keep a cut of the profit and I get the other part. Let's talk about a few other examples that are sort of more well-known. Pat Flynn on his channel, he created uh, this thing called the Switch Pod, which is essentially like a grip that expands and connects to the camera that makes it really easy to do vlogging. He also sent that to a whole bunch of YouTube creators, I assume like a free sample of it, and those YouTube creators ended up doing reviews of the product. So you can see how him talking about a physical product got out there and sort of went viral. One of the people that reviewed the SwitchPod is Peter McKinnon. Right after that, Peter McKinnon actually announced his new physical product, which was a camera bag. And I wonder if Pat Flynn paid back the favor. Oh, and by the way, you don't have to actually put together an entire book. I put out a video on the channel talking about how you can publish a low content or no content book in less than 30 days on Amazon. Honestly, you could probably do it a lot faster than that. For example, as you can see on screen, I came across this last night. It's a Hamilton notebook. On the cover, it just basically says Hamilton with a little logo that looks similar. On the inside, it is totally empty. Here's what's crazy though. Look how many reviews this blank notebook has. You just wanna be careful with copyright infringement and that kind of thing if you're getting started with this, but lots of you know planners and templates and sheet music and things like that that you could create and sell on Amazon. Amazon also has a merch store, so I just wanted to briefly touch on that. It's called Merch by Amazon, and I think it's relatively new, but from what I understand, it works really similarly to Teespring. And I'm sure you can get really creative with the types of physical product that you wanna make. One example is something that I really wanna make in the future is a card game. And I might go through something like Kickstarter or GoFundMe to get my card game funded, and then I can sort of promote it here on the channel. Okay, these next three are ones that I didn't know where to place in the difficulty scale because they're ones that are either really new to me or I just haven't tried or experimented with much myself. Number eight is crowdfunding. And the most well-known way to run a crowdfunding campaign on your YouTube channel is through Patreon. And the whole idea here is that you have exclusive content or you give your viewers exclusive access to you by setting up your Patreon page. Patreon.com, it's, it's basically like a, a membership site so you can charge one dollar five dollars ten dollars every month and once again you have content or access to you directly and sort of gated behind a paywall and just about anyone can do this so for example my nephew just started a rocket league youtube channel his name is skubert you should go support him and he is considering setting up a Patreon page because he's growing faster than I am. Please don't let him beat me to a thousand subscribers. I'll never hear the end of it. Last time I'm gonna ask, subscribe to The Money Resolution. Next up, number nine, is to offer a service and actually just get hired. Tell people that they can hire you. So odds are if you're watching this, you have skills in terms of video making. You could say on your channel, I can help you get started with YouTube. You can hire me. Perhaps you offer like a 30 minute free consultation. You just plug your email address or whatever in the channel or in the description for people to reach out and get in contact. Even better if you have a website set up that you can direct people to. This isn't something I would plug too often in your videos. The whole idea here though is to utilize your skills and help people tackle a specific problem. Perhaps it's as simple as helping local businesses set up their social media channels or their first online advertisements. Or perhaps you do have graphic design skills and you can help a company with designing their logo for them. There are lots and lots of opportunities, so just think creatively and pitch yourself on your videos in a natural way, sort of like this. If you've ever wanted to start a YouTube channel and grow it from scratch, you can hire me. So reach out Frankie at The Money Resolution. Or if you've ever wanted to publish your first book, reach out to me, I can help you get that done. That wasn't fake. You can contact me. Last but not least is to start and grow an email list. This one's a little bit tricky because it's not gonna lead to direct revenue right away, but if you focus on growing your own email list via your YouTube channel, you can eventually get in touch with these people over time, warm them up to a sales pitch or an offer down the line. This is best done if you have a website and somewhere to send them to. It's also great if you have what's called a lead magnet on that website. For example, it could be a PDF, like a one-sheeter with 10 tips for how to do X, Y, or Z in a short period of time. The idea here is you wanna provide value and get people a quick win so that they start to know, like, and trust you. And all they have to do to get that PDF download is to exchange their email address for it. One resource that I recommend I just came across recently is called attract.io. So you can see on screen here, I was sort of fiddling around with this the other day and it looks like it's totally free. And this one's just a, a few page PDF with the, the main content here on page three. And then on your website, for example, you can have a little pop-up saying, hey, do you want 10 ways to do blah, blah, blah? Download your free guide today. I do have a little bit of experience with this on my website, themoneyresolution.com. 
you'll see a sign up form there for the 101 step checklist. It's everything I cover in my first book. It's everything I did in one year to get my financial life together. It's the cheat sheet and I'm offering it totally for free in exchange for an email address. So go get that. Okay, so those are the 10 best ways that I found in research to make money on YouTube. And I'd be really curious to hear in the comments down below which one you're most excited to get started with or just let me know something that I missed that I should be considering. But again, my goal isn't necessarily making money and I hope that that isn't your goal when you start your YouTube channel. Making money on YouTube is, it's definitely a, a long-term thing. Grow an audience, provide a lot of value, give away your best content for free, and then when you have an offer or something to sell, just make sure you weave it in naturally and don't sound too pushy or salesy. The other thing I'd say is there's a lot of different ways, obviously, a lot more than this, honestly, that you can make money on YouTube. So just take it step by step, focus on one thing, stick with it for a while, see if you can grow that, and then move on to the next thing. The cool thing is once you have four or five different ways that you're making money from YouTube, that can actually start to really add up. But be patient, it's gonna be gradually, then suddenly, when it comes to success and making money on YouTube. So that's it, that's all I got for you today. Be sure to like this video if you did get some value out of it. It really does go a long way in helping other people discover it. This YouTube algorithm is, it's tough. And maybe mastering that should have been step one to all of this. Anyway, once again, my name is Frankie. This is The Money Resolution, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks. Yes, I have earned a few bucks from YouTube, but a few bucks is a very accurate statement. So I have some merch and let me show it to you. Whoa, there we go. Check it out, Money Resolution from Teespring. That was corny.